Hey guys, welcome back to Solo King Gaming. Today, we are going to be doing Season 2, Episode 1 of our mini survival. Our first one did really, really well and got a bunch of views, so we're doing a second one. Uh, we're going to start it out just like we started out the first one, just creating the world. And of course, this will take forever, so I'm going to speed through it. And if you don't know what a survival it, so mini survival is, go watch the last series, because I explained it here, and I'm not going to explain it again. So... <laughs> Let's create the world. Alright, we have just spawned in, and this time, we did not get our f least favorite biome. We are pretty close to one, and we spawned, like, two blocks away from a Woodland Mansion. So that's always fun. And you know what, I've just realized, probably got my volume set too loud, don't I? Let's set it to like that. Is that better? Uh, set it on to like 12. There you go. Alright. So hopefully that should not be a barrel be loud like it was before. So yeah, um... Let's kind of get some stuff from this chest. I'm gonna, just gonna grab this axe. And then mine it up. And then, I guess go chop down some trees. Wait. Oh. I just heard a pillager. Or, vindicator, whatever it's called. The the guys. Is there one out here? Okay, I, d I don't think so, but I think I just heard one coming from inside. You hear it again? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can certainly hear it. And it's scaring me because I don't want to die, so. I guess I just keep chopping and hopefully... I don't know, hopefully they can't escape. If you've ever seen any of my other videos, you know that I absolutely cannot stand wooden tools. I've just made two pickaxes for no reason. And, you know, so we always go to the stone tool, which is because, you know, wooden tools, they're barely better than using your fist. I just feel like they don't really have a purpose. So, I've never really used them, and actually I just realized... It might be smart to make a boat, wouldn't it? If I can figure out where the boat- there it is. Yeah, because now, I think- I'm not sure which direction I should head. Um, let's go- let's go this direction. This looks- This looks- go. Oh, <laughs> fell off the boat there. This looks kind of nice. So- oh, there's some sheep. That could be really good- Why does it keep putting me out, like, so far? This could be good to get some food, so- uh, yeah, just, it's, it's quick and painless. The sheep don't even know what's coming, it's fine. They're, they're not in any pain whatsoever. So you don't, you don't have to worry about them. They're, they're doing just fine. Uh, oh, is that a plants biome over there? It looks like it might be. They already have a little bit of mutton, but not a whole lot. So... Plants biomes are good because they, they're so big and flat. You could get one more piece of Oh, is this a cave? Well, I mean, yeah, it is a cave. But whether it's big enough to... Ooh, I just heard a cow. Where's, where's that cow? I know I just heard one. Come on, where is he? I could have sworn it is... Oh, there it is. There he is. And steak is like one of the best food sources in the game. So that will be very useful. Let's mine up some coal. And this coal will be useful for smelting up the food or cooking up the food as well as smelting iron, which I'm hoping to find a decent amount of in this first video. Because I think the last minute survival, it took like four. And I think I played on it taking like 20. So I'm not sure it can get much faster than four. I don't know if I just got really, really lucky last time or what, but that was that was pretty insane, if you ask me. So let's uh, let's keep looking around for this um, this iron. See if you can find any, because I mean, like, while stone tools are definitely still better than iron, they still are not particularly great. So I want to find a decent set of iron tools, so I have more of a chance. And ooh, that is quite the drop. You know, I, I'm gonna do a dream. Ready? Uh oh, 
Oh no, that was you know what? Okay, um, right. <laughs> that that didn't go as I planned. Um, not not in the slightest. Uh, oh, and I have no coal. Uh, um, oh, it's open back up. <laughs> I planned to jump like. Oh no, I'm just opening this up more. I'm trying to get some um, stone for a furnace so I can cook my food. Oh, uh, what I was trying to do was I was trying to jump and then place a block and uh, land on it like Dream does in a bunch of videos. But um, yeah, that it didn't really work out. Uh, so let's let's cook up some food and then there was some coal there which I would have liked to get because I didn't get a whole lot. But I did get pretty decently far down. What level am I on right now? Uh. 36 so actually not as far as i thought but maybe we can get some stuff with that so yeah i'll wait for this coal to cook up and then i'll be back or not coal to cook up this mutton to be cook up and then i'll be back when it's done all right and our last piece of mutton i just finished cooking up so now i can eat some of this up grab our furnace and our crafting table maybe get some blocks out just in case i um have another close call like that and I already hear a zombie so I'm gonna throw a torch down and oh yeah there's a creeper uh oh no so oh no oh shoot oh he blew up um well he just kinda took care of himself so maybe that's not too big of a problem uh oh there's a zombie still no iron I feel like or I feel like I should have seen at least some iron right now I'm not expecting a whole lot but I feel like by now there should have been more than not at all. Uh, so I'm trying to grab some coal here just so I can kind of cook up my uh, my iron more. Oh, uh, let's go down this way. There might be some. Oh, how 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 did we find gold before iron? There we go. There is some iron. I was gonna say we literally found. I mean, it's not particularly useful, but we found gold before iron. So that's kind of funny, because, I mean, well, you can't use it for a whole lot. Uh, gold is a lot rarer than iron, so. Just thought it was weird that we found it first. Um, we still only got, how much is that? Five pieces, so. I want to keep looking for some more iron. And I think I saw some light this way. Yes, maybe this will go, like, deeper. Oh, I did not mean to place two torches there. Um, is that iron? Nope, more gold. Uh, wow, this is... An amazing cave. Look at that. I feel like I should not have gone caving this early. But, you know, it's it's fine. I'll, okay, here is some iron. We'll just grab that. I think I'll, right now, I'll go for a full set of um tools and uh, maybe a couple pieces of armor. Just to kind of keep myself safe. Um, And I want to see, because I want to I'm curious what Y level I'm at right now. This is level... Uh, 20, so I saw it this way. It got a little bit deeper. So maybe we can, uh, yeah, down here. Like, look at that. That has great diamond potential, I feel like. Um, ooh, that's, ooh, that's scary. <laughs> I did not, I do not want to fall down there, because this isn't a hardcore series, but, you know, it's, and it's fine to die, but, you know, it'll still set me f kind of far back. And I didn't die in the lot. What? Is this... This is Stronghold? We literally found the Stronghold. Again. We literally... This happened in the last one too. We found the Stronghold. Before we found <laughs> a single Eye of Ender. Uh, that's hilarious. I am going to take these coordinates. Um, yeah, so here's the coordinates of that. Um, right, that's amazing. I can't, how do we keep doing that? And it's not just like, I've only done it in Mini Survival. I've done it, um, off camera, like, alone, and, like, just playing in my own worlds before, too. So that is just crazy how that can happen, because the Xbox 360 world is what I'm playing on. The worlds are really tiny. I think they're, like, 800 by 800 blocks, which seems like a lot. But in the grand scheme of things, that's absolutely nothing when uh, Java worlds are like 30 million by 30 million. And technically, bedrock, wor bedrock worlds are all the same size. 
but of course since Bedrock is a piece of trash and never works correctly, um, the only playable size is about 5 to 8 million blocks, because if you go any further, the game just starts glitching out and getting really just awful. Um, which is kind of annoying, but really, I mean, what can you expect out of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, right? Because it's just... Oh, we're auto-saving, that's fun. Uh, yeah, because out of Bedrock Edition, you just can't really expect a whole lot, because it's a phone game. So, like, you know, it's... 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 It's designed for phones, so it's gonna run worse. Spe speaking of how bad bad it runs, I just wanted to point out, okay? The Xbox 360, I was looking at this the other day. The Xbox 360 has, like, not even a single gigabyte of RAM, okay? And so, and that's, like, nothing, because this computer, I think, has 8 gigabytes, which still, that is not a whole lot, uh... Because most computers these days have 16 or even 32 gigs. So, less than a gigabyte and be a being able to run Minecraft decently smoothly is pretty impressive. And what's even crazier is that I was looking it up and Bedrock and, um, and Console Edition were written in the exact same programming language. I think it's, I guess it's C++. Uh, and I'm no tech programming expert, so if any of you that are watching are a tech programming exer expert, then let me know in the comments if it's possible, but how hard would it be to just copy the code from this game, right, and then paste it into, like, all the original broken code for Bedrock, like, would that not make just, like, a functioning game? Like, I mean, I know that there's probably some way that that's wrong, but oh no, why didn't that thing blow up? Oh, nah, here it comes. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm a coding expert, but, like, can't they just paste it in and have a fully running game? I don't know, it makes no sense to me, but, uh, let's not, wait. Wait, that's not, wait, wait, <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> wait a <laughs> minute, wait, wait, I don't even have a pickaxe yet. And, um, well, yeah, you, you you all have eyes, you can see it. That's, that's fine, I don't want to get, what? What? How? What? What, what, <laughs> what? How, wait, hold on, if I throw a block, will it, this, what, what, what? How? How does that? F I kind of want to jump in, just to test it out. But at the same time, scared. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these coordinates too. Maybe sometime later, like maybe even after the series is over, I can come back in and jump in, and um, and see how that works because <laughs> that's just crazy how that happens. My, my Minecraft can be a buggy game sometimes. <laughs> I'm talking about how broken Bedrock is, and then that happens, but. That's not very common, I mean, that happens in Bedrock all the time, so, you know. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna get this food cooked up, and then I'll be back when it is done. Sorry, not food, um, iron. Alright, so now I have enough for a water bucket and a pickaxe, and the pickaxe is obviously to mine the diamonds, but the water bucket is so I can swim up here, grab this water, which is much higher up than I thought, and, well, wow, that's really hot. And then I can jump back down here and then mine up these diamonds. And the reason I need the water bucket is so I can do this. What? How does this, how? This area just doesn't get covered. Hold on. I'm, how? Wait, if I step on that. Will I die or not? Okay. So now, is that tankly obsidian or not? What? What? This is the most broken part. This is the most broken thing. Oh! Oh! I just started taking damage. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not totally broken. 
but it sure is pretty broken. Well, I'm kind of scared to mine these diamonds, because, first of all, I think I've pretty f much figured out they're going to be cursed, because this whole section out here is really messed up. And uh, I feel like they're just going to fall into the, um, into the lava, right? Like, well, maybe not, because it's, like, they're not going to burn, because... I don't know, this is a really, really wacky cave, and I do want to experiment in, in it more later. So maybe we can have a, a special episode just for doing that. But let's mine these up. <gasps> no! Whew. Wait. Oh my gosh. This is, this is just... What? What? <laughs> that should... <laughs> that should not be possible. Wait, does stuff burn in that? No, wait, so if I mine that, will it not burn? Okay, yeah, this is gonna be risky, but I'm curious. <laughs> they don't burn! Oh my gosh. This is just... I don't know how to feel about this. Like, it's kinda cool, but kinda scary at the same time. Ugh, that's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna make the rest of my tools... Uh, I would make a diamond sword, but I want to save it for an enchantment table so I can kind of get some good stuff. But yeah, I can make the rest of my tools and my armor, and I'll be back when that is done. I've just realized, literally, even like the lava that's not covered has the same just broken physics to it. So, again, I'm going to do this later. I'm kind of curious if that lava has the same broken physics. Because maybe this, maybe this whole cave, because like that doesn't burn there. That tells me it's fine. So, oh no, it burns there. That tells me that the lava, t the lava in that area is probably your typical lava, so I probably don't want to try jumping into that. But, um, the other lava, I'm free to if I want to, I guess. So let's make up the rest of this armor. I don't actually know if I have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough for the full set. I thought I did, so let's mine this up and then continue looking for some lava. And I want to get out of this whole area down here, because, like, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe, m <laughs> maybe the lava works correctly in some areas, but, and also certainly, oh, have I, have I broken it? Did I break the coolness? Wait, if I throw something, will it actually burn now? Oh, it took, like, just a big jump. Oh, wait, no, it might, it might still be broken in the cool way. I might be so the able to play around with it later. Kind of curious if this world generated weird, or if it's um, or if it's something with the seed, because maybe you know something just went wrong with the generation or something. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue looking for some iron here. Uh, is there any down this way? Ooh, have I been here yet? Oh, look at this. This. Whoa! No! 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 no. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, um... Well, that was not very fun, was it? Um... Let's try to... Huh. Well, that wasn't very fun. Um... <laughs> yeah, that was not enjoyable. Luckily, I had placed the water down. And I was able to hop back in, because that could have been really bad. But yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, that's not ideal. Uh, let's do that. And then mine that up. Maybe will this be enough? Maybe, you know, I don't, I don't know. It could be. I could have died there. Oh, ooh, is that, what, what's up there? I can't tell if that's, um, just torches from past me. Or if it's, uh, more lava. Uh, is no, this is, the cursed area. What about up here? Is there any iron lurking up here? Oh, there is, actually. There we go. Okay. Took a little bit of time, but it, it worked. Let's mine this up. Um, whoa, that would not be fun to fall down, would it? You know what would be fun? 
and that was very fun. I really enjoyed that. I'm so glad I did that. That was a great experience. That was really worth my time going running over there and doing that. That was A plus 10 out of 10. I loved that. So let's swim up here. Look, more iron. Beautiful. Uh, I think I think after some of this iron ironing, I'm going to build a very very basic little hut. And then end the video there because I think I'm dragging this video on for a little while. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this. This is a really fun world. Look at this big open area. That's crazy. There's even a zombie villager down here and everything. I thought I saw a creeper, but I guess I didn't. I did! I did! I did! <laughs> oh, I'm very low on feet, aren't I? Okay, yeah, I should really think about heading back up. Um, how much iron am I at? Okay, that should be enough. I'm going to continue mining up the rest of this. And then I'm going to get out of here. I'm also going to take these coordinates. Just in case everyone want to come back down. But yeah, I am, I am getting kind of low. So I should probably start making my way back up. And this is going to take a while. So I will see you once this is done. Oh. Am I in a witch's hut? Because I just heard... I, I'm, I mean, I'm close enough to the surface to be near one. Um, so it could either be nighttime, or maybe there is a witch up here. There is some iron here, so I'll mine that up. Uh, but yeah, I, I heard a witch, so I'm either... There's either a cave above me, or maybe if I made it to the surface, I don't know. Right, there goes my last piece of food, so... Although, actually... I think I have enough materials to make a bed real quick so I should probably do that sleep and then go to the surface so that all the mobs can die they won't try to kill me so let's kind of dig out an area here to do this so I'm gonna need that oh I can already make it beautiful uh, let's place it down oh I threw the bed that's not what I wanted to do and that is what I wanted to do okay I I am incredibly dumb um, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect that. Of course there's monsters nearby. Uh, so I guess I will not be sleeping. And I will just continue. Oh, look at this. And it's not like, whoa. This is really weird looking. There's like holes in the terrain and everything. Look at this. What is it with this world? This world is... I don't know. Something about it. It's, it's not right. Uh, so there's more food here. I think that for now, I will build a basic house here. You know, it's not going to be anything amazing. But it will be a basic house. So, I think... Yeah, this is a, this is a good place. So let's dig out foundation. Let's make it like... Like maybe five by five. And then we can I think I'll fill in the floor with cobblestone. And then just use um I guess I'll use uh, I can use oak. I don't like birch as much, so I'll use the oak. So we'll grab that. And then where oh, that is not five by five. I don't know what that is, but it is most certainly not what I was going for. Um <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know what shape you would call that, or what size you would call that. Is that, it's still not right. Wait, is it? Is it right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I know it's right. I thought, I thought it still wasn't right. So let's fill in this floor, and then I think I'll go over and grab the uh, wood. And this should be pretty much like the exact same house that I had in uh, season one. So, I mean, and if you saw that house, which you definitely should have, go watch that series, um, then you'll know it was not a particularly glamorous house, because it was, you know, it's a, I mean, I planned it on it being 20 episodes, I probably would have built a better house, but, you know, it went so quickly that I just, it wasn't really worth it. I remember in the last series, I was like, hmm, I should build a storage room, like, was, was that really my greatest idea? I don't, I don't think it was. Because you know it, it was like the sh like a, such a short series. I think I'll mine maybe two or three more trees, 
and then go back over in my net. I really hope I have a better time getting the um the ender pearls in Blaze Rose this time. Cause again, if you haven't watched the last one, go watch it. Um, then yeah, you would know that I had quite some struggles getting the Blaze Rods and Ender Pearls. Uh, mainly because uh the game was being dumb and wouldn't give them to me. So that's always always fun. Uh, what do I not need here? I don't need a single piece of white wool. So let's make all of these into planks. And then, will this be enough? It might just barely be enough. So where's my foundation? Here it is. I think we'll start off with kind of like a, like a back wall in the corner here. So I can kind of visualize where I'm going to have my bed. So we can have like the bed there. And then, of course, the classic crafting table. And then furnace and then double chest on top and apparently I made another chest on accident that's pr I think that's how I did it in the last one maybe I had two chests I probably did knowing me I probably found some way to accumulate ac accumulate accumulate enough junk to fill up two chests worth within four episodes because that's just something I would do you know I I do that a lot where's the rest of my wood Oh, here it is. I thought it ran out, and I was like, I don't think I burned through it that quickly. Ooh, what was that? I thought it was awesome. I should probably go to bed first. I'm probably gonna have to go grab more wood because this is not nearly enough, but. Alright, and the kind of size of our beautiful house is done. So I will just chuck a few torches around the place. And then, you know what? A door might be nice. So, you know, I don't die. Just a, just a thought. So, I think between episodes I might build a you know, basic farm out there. Not too much. Maybe grab some more food. But yeah, I think that that will be a pretty good place to end off our video here. So with that, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later. Bye.